Hi, I'm Pavel Spechalski and today let's talk about something slightly different because today we will be talking about the Arduino. Arduino has the whole environment that allows you to start your adventure with the microcontrollers or building your own electronic devices. The devices for which you write your own program, you run it on the Arduino or Arduino compatible board and the device does whatever really you want. Uh, sensors, thermometer, hygrometer drivers for your electronic appliances at home maybe even the flight controllers because do remember that multi B was written in Arduino so the possibilities really like your imagination is basically the only limit and with Arduino you get pretty much a lot of the cool stuff because hey Arduino compatible boards are super easy to get either original or clones from China that cost like a few bucks uh, a piece and sometimes you really can get pretty amazing boards like for example ESP32. You get quite a lot of documentation, you get a lot of examples how to handle different, um, different problems you might approach and uh, access to wide wide variety of different ready-made libraries. So really the sky is the limit. You do whatever you want with the Arduino. And I'm pretty, I'm, I'm, if you are watching this channel on the regular basic, you know that from time to time I'm doing stuff with Arduino. However, however, Arduino has, Arduino sucks. Arduino sucks and the biggest, the main reason why the Arduino sucks is because of the editor, the integrated development environment IDE for the Arduino. Let me, let me change the screen. You see this thing, this program really sucks. It's one of the worst IDEs ever created in the world. Yes, for the total beginners, it might be an option to use this program, but as soon as you know anything about the programming and you really would like to have the IDE that helps you do stuff and not uh, limits you because autocomplete is off, the colors are awful and the font is awful and there are no really like stuff you might be used to when you are, for example, a developer of JavaScript or, or Java or Python or anything like that, you are are pretty much kind of limited. Uh, I know that Arduino now tries to push the web IDE or something like that. There is, for example, platform IO. They are working on something slightly different. But today, today I will show you the program that really changed the way how I work with the Arduino and basically every, almost every other a programming language because today I will tell you how to use Microsoft. Yes, the Microsoft, the Microsoft, the, the Microsoft that so many people hate, but I personally think that in the last couple of years Microsoft changed their approach and they are one of the best companies around. Because today I will show you how to use the free, very important, free editor free IDE from Microsoft called the Visual Studio Code, not the big Visual Studio, the Visual Studio Code to program your Arduino. So the Visual Studio Code looks like this. It's a, it's a program. You have an editor, you have options, you have access to the console and it's pretty good editor. I'm, I really like using Visual Studio Code. Also, with the help of the Microsoft, you can make Visual Studio Code compatible with Arduino. Basically, all you have to do to make so. You have to have the Arduino installed on your Windows, for example, or Mac or Linux. But please do remember, do not install this from the Microsoft Store. It has to be standalone Arduino installation. And then just go into the extensions and make yourself a favor and install the Arduino extension from the Microsoft. And from this very moment, you have access to all the goodies that Visual Studio Code brings you and Arduino. Want to example? Um, this is the sucky, 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 really sucky, awful uh, Arduino editor. And if you have the Arduino extension enabled, you can open the same folder you store your code inside of the Arduino editor. Which one will be this thing? This will be the... Huh, which one that was it? Oh! Drone LED strip controller. You open the folder, click on the Arduino code, the Inno file, and look! Look what's happening! 
it's working out of the box. You have nice coloring, nice function, you have access to a lot of functions, you can format the document, you can flash the, flash the compiled, you can compile it of course because without compiling it makes no sense. Uh, you can even, oh, what I'm doing right now, you can even navigate between files and really have access to almost everything that this thing offers. It supports every board you can make compatible with Arduino because it's using the same libraries the Arduino is using it has access to exactly the same manager of the boards and it just acts as an additional wrapper with the Visual Studio code like I said if you want to do something at least slightly more advanced than the simplest program copied somewhere from the internet this is your choice this is your choice the best piece of software you can get yourself for free if you only want to. I'm using only this. This abomination of the program, no, definitely, definitely, definitely won't. If I would have to put a number of how good this IDE from the Arduino is, I would have to put like two. If I would have to put a number over here for the Visual Studio Code with the Arduino extension, I would put 9, not 10, because it's not perfect, because I found one thing that I cannot make working with the Visual Studio code, and it's the uh, translation of the ESP stack trait says into the readable form. I just cannot make this thing work under the Arduino, uh, under the Visual Studio code. However, it works perfectly, and I only over here and I use only Arduino if I really want to debug and decode some of the stack traces on the ESP. Everything else, Visual Studio Code all the way. By the way, if you will ever want to, for example, program iNav or Betaflight or CleanFlight or ArduPilot or anything like that, this is also this. This is also this. Visual Studio Code does everything. Java, JavaScript, Python, almost every language you can think of. So that was my piece of the free customer advice for today. Thank you for watching and until the next one. Bye bye.